Welcome back to my channel, my friends. In the world of research, we often find ourselves immersed in a sea of data, trying to decipher meaning and patterns from vast amounts of information. That's where content analysis comes into play. It's a research technique used to make valid and replicable inferences by interpreting and coding textual material. Whether it's analyzing social media posts, transcriptions of interviews, or even historical documents, Content analysis can be a powerful tool in your research arsenal. This method can be performed with a varying degree of quantification depending on the nature of your research. In this video, we'll be discussing three main types of content analysis, conventional, directed, and summative. Each of these methods provides a unique perspective and approach to analyzing content, and we will explore each of them in detail. So whether you're a seasoned researcher or a curious beginner, Buckle up as we delve into the fascinating world of content analysis. Let's dive into each of these methods in detail. Have you ever wondered how to dive into a research topic without any preconceived notions? Conventional content analysis might be your answer. This approach is all about exploration. It's like venturing into a jungle without a map, allowing the landscape to reveal its secrets naturally. You approach the data with an open mind, letting themes and patterns emerge on their own. There's no imposing of pre-existing categories on the data here. Instead, you identify patterns, themes, or categories as they surface during the analysis. The beauty of this method is its flexibility. It's adaptable and ideal for situations where the research area is relatively unexplored, and you want to develop a deeper understanding of the content. So, if you're in the early stages of research and want to explore content without predefined expectations, the conventional approach could be your best bet. Now, what if you have a set theory or hypothesis that you need to validate? Directed content analysis can help you there. This approach begins with a predefined theory or set of categories. Researchers enter the scene armed with specific concepts or ideas they aim to confirm or elaborate on through their analysis. The methodology of directed content analysis is somewhat different from its conventional counterpart. Here, categories and codes are established in advance, based on existing theories or concepts. Researchers apply these predefined categories to the content to determine the extent to which they are present. This approach is more structured and hypothesis-driven. It's like having a map and a compass in hand guiding your exploration. It aims to test specific hypotheses or theories, making it a valuable tool in the research toolbox. In terms of use cases, directed content analysis is the choice when researchers want to examine how certain concepts or categories manifest in the content. It's particularly useful for hypothesis testing, theory confirmation, or replication of previous research. In other words, if you're looking to confirm theories or replicate previous research, directed content analysis might be your go-to method. Finally, let's talk about when you need to quantify and summarize your content. That's where summative content analysis comes in. This approach primarily focuses on counting and categorizing specific elements within the content to draw statistical conclusions. Its objective is not just to interpret the content, but to transform it into a numerical form. In terms of methodology, researchers develop a coding scheme with clearly defined categories, and the analysis is often highly structured and systematic. Unlike conventional or directed content analysis, Summative content analysis is more quantitative in nature. It emphasizes frequency counts and percentages of occurrence. When it comes to use cases, this approach shines when researchers want to measure the prevalence of particular themes, topics, or attributes within the content. It's frequently used in media studies, market research, and content audits. So, if you're aiming to measure the prevalence of particular themes, topics, or attributes within the content, Summative content analysis could be your preferred approach.